We're going to go over the assignment for Module 3, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. This is in many ways uh, the trickiest module of the course because you're asking students to engage in critical thinking and uh, first and foremost you're asking them to read a book. Uh, they can't do anything else unless they actually read the book and that cannot be taken for granted. Many students will do everything they can to avoid reading the book. Now module three takes place well into the course, late in the course, so the students do have plenty of time to read the book. The question is how to get them to do so. This is a nationally uh, renowned book. Uh, it is not uh, dumbing down the information for students. It, it is a challenge in some respects but it is a dramatic story and this will test students seriousness as college students. Um, uh, it's difficult, it's challenging to help them pass the test but that's what we need to try to do. Now there's a start here page and let's go over that. Notice that uh, three class sessions will be devoted to this book but not until class 10. So uh, once again, students have plenty of time to read the book and you may want to remind them early in the semester just a passing phrase asking them, are you reading the book? Uh, chances are they will not have started the book so you might want to gently chide them and try to encourage them to uh, take things seriously now that they're college students. Um, but uh, we really have one overriding learning outcome for this module, and it's this one. Be able to identify how a racial minority was viewed as an abstraction by the scientific community and media until recent years, as exemplified by the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks. Uh, that's it. Uh, now, in the voice thread that you've already learned about, they will be able to critique recent reviews of the book according to logical standards of evaluation and their accomplishment of that should help them with their essay but they will not be given a separate test on the number two here uh, it is only number one here uh, about how Henrietta Lacks was viewed as an abstraction uh, indeed if she was uh, that they will write about in an essay. Hopefully their experience with the voice thread will inform their writing on the essay that will address the first learning outcome. So the essay question is written verbatim here. Uh, they will not be surprised by the essay question when they see it because it's right here. Um, now down here are questions for discussion during the class. The answers to these questions are not the answers to the essay question up here. The answers to these questions are just to get them to understand some of the key issues of the book. They will not be able to answer the essay question and get a good grade just by answering these questions. They have to specifically address the issue of abstraction. Now they can ask you questions about that in the class and you should be prepared to answer those questions. You can have a discussion with them. But what you don't want to do is to answer the essay question for them. Uh, you have to make it clear that they are going to have to answer the question themselves. Now one thing that I've done before is to uh, ask them these questions in different ways, ask them this question in different ways, and if they volunteer answers that are highly insightful and useful as answers to this essay question, you should confirm that in class. You should say, you should say that's superb. That would be an excellent thing to include in the essay. Because in that case, it's a student who has contributed the idea. Uh, we don't want to confuse them by acting like their good ideas are not good ideas. But what we don't want to do is to answer the question for them ourselves. Uh, this is not high school anymore. Uh, 
they need to do their own thinking for the first time probably in their entire lives. All right. So this goes beyond the voice thread. And once again, here's the essay question. Now, this needs to be changed because it says you will write your essay in response to the two questions. But uh, that needs to be edited out because there's only one question they need to answer. It's worth 20% of their grade. And it's this question about abstraction. It's the same question you saw above. So this is a typo. There's not two questions they need to answer. It's just this one. OK, so uh, let's go back and look at the rubric. We'll go back to the home page. We'll go back to module three. And here's the rubric for the essay question on the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks. Once again, we see it's the abstraction question that they'll answer. Um, and I tell the students here in the rubric, and, and you need to share this with them very specifically, that they can get an A by doing what's in this paragraph. Three correct and clear examples of the scientific community and the media viewing or treating Henrietta Lacks and her family as abstractions. At least one example will be of the scientific community, and at least one example will be of the media or by the media. Consequences of this perspective will be made clear. They need to decide what does that mean to treat someone like an abstraction. That is, what are the consequences of that? A clear, correct statement will be included showing how Sklut treated the Lax family differently. That is, <clears throat> not as an abstraction. Sentences will be complete and grammatical errors few or non-existent. Obviously, <clears throat> I didn't say this, but the essay needs to be clear. I don't know how you can do these things without making your essay clear. Um, and so there'll be a minimum of confusion or cloudiness. And certainly, there will be almost no errors made. Students will not commit errors of fact. Now, they often will, of course. Uh, they'll often be vague. They'll often be unclear, but if they are any of those things, they certainly won't receive an 89 to a 100. So these other grades show what they need to do wrong to get the lower grades and what they need to do right to still accomplish those grades that are higher than the, the even lower categories below them. And it's pretty obvious. Um, Maybe they will ignore either the science community or the media, but they'll focus on one or the other. Uh, they'll be a little garbled in their explanation, but not terribly garbled. Sentences will still be complete and grammatical errors few, but it's obviously not as polished as an A answer, so it's a B answer. Um, so in the C answer, um, there will be more errors, as you would expect. Uh, and I try to be clear on what that means. So you might familiarize yourself with this rubric. And that way, you will be able to identify an answer that's a B, C, D, or A, or even F, um, and assign the grade that is the correct grade. In other words, we want all the instructors grading the essays the same. We don't want people passing out A's like candy, no matter what the students do. We need to have instructors uh, evaluate students in the same way. So this rubric is just as important for instructors as it is for students. Things obviously have to be pretty bad for a student to get an F. Uh, students may provide one example that is clear or not, a, not clear. In other words, they'll, they'll give you one example. It'll be a terribly short essay. Or it'll be a long essay, but irrelevancies will abound. Uh, they won't even be addressing the question. Uh, there'll be lots of errors, or sclute will be entirely ignored. Remember, you have to talk about sclute, or they have to talk about sclute. Many grammatical problems. Um, but even if they say something correct, <coughs> if the essay is woefully short or full of all kinds of errors, uh, it could still get an F. Uh, but of course, if they have several correct points, it's not likely to be an F. 
And so this is the performance target for assessment. This is why we have to have professors teaching this class the same way. 75% uh, of students will earn a score of 70% or higher in order to attain the learning outcome for module three. Well, if people are, are giving out A's like candy, then this, is a, this, this type of result has no meaning. So uh, we need to have everyone follow the rubric. And so that's how we'll be handling the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks uh, beyond the voice thread, specifically in answer to the one essay question for that book.